Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year's to you. I'm smiling. I'm blessed. Oh, Lord, just woke me up. It's amazing. He woke you up. Woo! What a blessed. I'm so blessed. I can feel it. The New Year, the breakthrough, the revival. I want you to remember those two words this year. Breakthrough and revival. Let it be. Let it be. I changed the title to my uh, page for the fact that many years ago I was told uh, somebody said, oh, you ought to write a book. And I prayed on it, and I remember, I'm just where you, I remember when I was talking to my friend, and she said, how do you feel? And I said, at the time, I said, really empty. I mean, just like there's nothing left. And she said, you're an empty vessel. That's exactly what God needs. You know, and I said, wow, okay, well, that don't feel so good, but uh, I took it, at it as it was. And you see, this is going to be the year. God is going to finish what he started. He's going to finish what he started. And you know, like he says, he's the Alpha, the Omega. And anyone that hungers or thirsts, they can come. It costs nothing. You know, and I've been allowing, I've been opening my, my door, my vessel. And I've been getting my armor on. And I've been allowing the good Lord to feed me. And give me my thirst. And, my, and feed my thirst and my hunger. And... <sighs> Still under the weather, <laughs> and still in this cast, but I'm ready for the revival, and I'm definitely ready for the breakthrough. Are you? When you feel weak, let the weak say they're strong. Let the poor say they're rich. Come on, within God, anything's possible. I want you to know whatever you're going through, whatever challenges you have, if you feel that emptiness... You're just where God wants you. Any time and any place in your life, you're just where God wants you. Just where he wants you. You don't think you're there for some particular reason. Possibly by your choices, yes. But there is no mistake. You're not a mistake. Your life is not a mistake. Your life is not so messed up that it can't be turned around. <clears throat> That you can't be made whole again. That you can't get a revival in your life. <sighs> that you can't get a breakthrough. I can feel it, man. It's, whoo. It just, yeah, that, that's, that's what happens every time I say those two words. Woo. <laughs> I said it again. Wow, when I get that, it's like, whoo. I can barely breathe. I mean, whoo. You just have no idea. Breakthrough and revival, people. It's on. It's on and popping, as we say. The good Lord is on his way, and Lord, help me. I am ready. Help me, help me, help me. Be ready. Help me ready for the changes that are coming this year. Thank you for the job that Herman's going to be working next week. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I say that. And I said to myself, I'm going to put a, a really interesting little letter on my door. Satan has been evicted. Satan, he's been evicted. Satan's got to go. This is my home. This is my body. This is my heart. My soul. I said, devil, you can have any illness, any pain, any anger, any bitterness, anything that applies to you. Take it. Take your belongings and go. You are now evicted. No longer wanted here. You are trespassing. On the Lord's property. And I'm not even a property. On the Lord's child. So step back when you feel angry. And, then, and tell him. I sound funny. No. He's got to go. Because this is God's house. And by the grace of God. I am saved. And I am his child. And he will stand and protect. And take care of you. Don't stand back. And let the devil come in your heart. And your mind. And consume you. To the place where you don't want to be dealt with. <clears throat> Let that hardest stone turn to flesh. Let that hardest stone turn to flesh so that he can make you whole again. You see, with that hardest stone, if you got one, eh, it's a hard chiseling. Something, somehow, you got to get through that. And let that hardest stone of yours, if you got one, and you know who I am, and you know who you are. Let it go. Let it break and bust and let him give you the new one. 
It's a new spirit. It's a new life. It's everything. You know there's no one unimportant to God. And no one too far gone. Never too far gone with God. In a blink of an eye. Do you believe that he can change your life? That he can turn things around. That he can bring your son or your daughter home. That he can make things better. If that's what you want to call it. He can fix you. You feel like you're broken. You feel like you can't get up. You feel like you're tired of getting up. And you just don't want to do it. And you're, you're, you're just at the edge where you're like, I don't care. You do care. You do care. Trust me. You care. You're just so angry that you don't. So get that devil out of there. Get that, the, 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 the drug using mentality, the, the gambling, the whatever it is. Get it out of there. Tell the devil to take it with him. Tell him to take his little party on out of, out of there and go. And tell him you have no vacancy for him. Tell him, ain't no vacancy here. I always tell people, ain't no vacancy here. I ain't got to hear or hear. <laughs> and I definitely don't want to hear the gossip. So leave the gossip at the door when you come visit. Leave it there. You came to visit me. Not tell me who's doing what and how they're doing and who did what and, and who's in trouble. I don't want to know. When you get to that door, you leave it there. Leave it there. See where it says, devil, do not come in? I oh, know. Don't let the negativity in. You got to keep it out. You got to sanctify your home. You've got to keep the spirit, the Holy Spirit, alive. It's your job and your, your to protect your family and do what is needed. Because the devil is attacking. And I told him, you can't have my husband. You can't have me. You are in the wrong place. You can't even have my rabbit. So step. Uh, there is no... Just, you just got to let this be the, the sanctuary of the Lord. This is the Lord's house. This is your house. This is your mind and your heart and your soul. And I say, devil, you can have everything from cancer... To whatever you got that you've given. But you can't have my soul. And that's all I need. So thank you for your parting gifts. Take them with you. But I am a child of God. And I'm on the red, the verge of a revival and a breakthrough. And I am going. Woo -wee. I'm going. The Lord has got me. He's going to finish what he started. And you've got to let the Lord finish what you started. If you've ever started. If he's ever started something in your life and you know it, let him finish. It's not easy put down sitting on that potter's wheel while you're spinning around and he's taking pieces off of you that don't belong and people away that don't belong and shining you up and making you this beautiful, beautiful design. He's preparing you to set you off that wheel to go to work. He's filling you and it's uncomfortable to be in that place. It's very uncomfortable when you're not sure, when you're unsure. But with God, you ain't got to be unsure. You got to believe. Make it a lot easier for you to walk that walk and sit on that sit on that uh, potter's wheel. You see, we are the clay. We don't mold ourselves into something that, whew, it ain't pretty. It ain't something you want to put on your on your <laughs> on your living room table, dining table, or the centerpiece in the kitchen. You see, he wants to make you shiny and pretty and get you ready. He's trying to fill you up. And this year I say encourage people. Encourage them. Pray for them. <laughs> Pray for each other. I said we're going to walk this walk together. Revival. Woo! Breakthrough. Ain't nothing that God cannot change in your life at this very moment. Nothing, no matter how tired, how beat up, how tecatoed out you are, how whatever. It don't matter. He can change the situation. If you just stay on that wheel, get off that fence, get on that wheel, let it wobble a little, let him clean you up. That dust and that crust that's built up on you and that, that, that stone that heart of stone that you've created and allowed to happen. Let it go. Let go and let God. It is God's time. God's speed. It is on. Believe. 
2023 is the breakthrough revival. Woo! It is on. I, I, woo, I just get excited. There's so many things. Woo! You just, you are just where he wants you. Remember then. Just where he wants us. God bless everybody. Happy New Year's after 2023. Please share and like and uh, subscribe would be wonderful. We're here trying to reach people for people. This is nothing about me. This is all about God. I want you to know that when you listen to these videos, there's no sympathy here. Maybe empathy, but no sympathy. Never. I'm a child of God's. I'm a winner. I have victory and I believe it. I own it. And you better learn how to own it. Just like you could own the guys, the streets, and the gangs. And you could say you were from so-and-so. I'm God's child. Nothing but. I got the OG on my side. God. Whoo. Let's do this. 2023. It's going to be good. Love you all. I hope everybody was responsible. Didn't do something goofy. and Or didn't lose a family member. I mean, New Year's could be scary. But I had to throw that in there. And it is on a shout out, brother. Love you so much, brother. You going through it too, but uh, you know what, brother? That's one humble man. Y'all gotta meet that man. And it is on him. Anyway, uh, love you all. Much love and got to go.